this is the second chapter of this tutorial series and this portion will talking i will talking about the some theory of the docker then we uh, start our hands on dirty by uh, working some code and show uh, and also view in some graphically okay so the theory is what is docker uh, our without a without docker our application is working very smoothly in our local machine but the issue is you are uh, developing your application in the windows machine suppose your server is in linux so the uh, issue happened there is uh, sometimes the application working in your uh, machine properly but in server it's not working properly the main reason is your environment and the server environment both are not same so that the reason uh, something is developed to solve this issue i think that is the docker docker is a platform designed to help developers build share and run container application we basically create a container and the environment uh, all environment the your container is working similarly which work in your local machine okay so docker basically in the two part that is docker image and the container so if you uh, in the general uh, general language if i uh, tell you that is suppose uh, when you are uh, we are developing suppose any e-commerce application using the dot net so dot net is the Im uh, if you think is the docker thing dot uh, net is your uh, image docker image and and your your developed application is a uh, container okay so using the dot net uh, dot uh, net code you develop something okay so that is the uh, that is the difference between image and container using the image you developed a container okay so what is docker image a docker image is a file used to execute code in a docker container docker image act as a set of instruction to build a docker container so that is similar because you, we use .NET code for build our .NET code any type of application like a template. Docker image also act as the starting point using Docker. This is a, a starting point of the Docker. And the, what is Docker container? A Docker container image is a lightweight, standalone, executable package of software that include everything needs to run in application code runtime system tools system library and setting everything okay okay so using the docker file we created a docker image then using the image we created container so uh, it's a graphical uh, overview but in our code hands-on practice i will show you how can you we create docker file and so create image and also uh, yeah, our make our container okay so so what happened without the visualization uh, or the new docker uh, before the docker container system how system run suppose you are developing a microservice application uh, inst uh, instead of docker so suppose you are developing three microservices so what can you do you, you did in previously that is you created three virtual machine and every virtual machine you deployed a, a single application that is uh, a virtual machine app a another virtual machine, app b and another as a app c each virtual machine has a uh, operating system and you need to deploy everything in your each uh, uh, machine so you need uh, three uh, linux or windows machine and the each machine has an operating system but the issue is if you are using windows machine that time each machine you need to install the certificate and the license each uh, and these all the operating system and other software also uh, use your same uh, resources that is because if a uh, when you are machine any vm what is the vm vm is the similar of your machine so vm also use your uh, hardware and uh, cpu because uh, for the, that reason every machine 30 to 40 percent space they are using there okay but now in container uh, containerized system each container has separated they cannot uh, connected with each other okay so it, the, uh, these are all uh, isolated so you need you don't need to create multiple virtual machine 
you can get a single virtual machine and deploy your different different application there okay so yeah so it's very easy and very convenient and uh, also reduce your cost and suppose uh, sometimes if the virtual machine has a, any application has created any issue that time sometimes it also hampered the machine to properly but in your container system uh, this not happened anymore so here i also added a issues and problem some problem and how docker solved okay uh, so i'm not uh, telling this uh, pro all this some one some part i am also describing you uh, before the arrival of docker developer is a virtualization technology to develop application which work fine in their own environment the problem was when the same application reached production it did not work correctly due to the different in the computing so that i told previously uh, uh, computing environment the technology did not support microservice architecture for example large application it could not be broke down into a small service before docker microservice were deployed using virtualization meaning multiple virtual machine were installed on a single host machine individual virtual machine were used to run individual microservice the disadvantage of this approach was that it used to waste many resource this also i also told this uh, the microservice running in this virtual machine are not using the full potential of memory, processor power, and disk space. So, image of hundreds of such microservices running, the resource wastage would be enormous. With the introduction of the Docker, a developer can build and deploy an application in containerized environment. This ensures that applications run the same regardless of where they are or what a computer environment they are in. Docker containers essence can be deployed to any computer infrastructure cloud with no compatibility problem. Okay. These containers act like microservice with a specific job, each with its own operating system and its own isolated CPU memory and network resource. Okay, fantastic. So this portion I am talking the uh, overview of the docker and one another important issue is suppose you are using the uh, uh, ms sql okay so you are creating a virtual machine so you some virtual machine you add uh, upload in the ubuntu some is a uh, fedora so you need to know how to install the sql server or my ms uh, or mysql or both uh, on the, those machine because each operating system has a different installation but if you are no yeah if you are uh, creating your image or container then you have is not any pain for you to how the system is installed because your container is working as usual and installation process is also the same in each and every environment okay so next part i'm uh, i'm starting in the docker because our application is fully dependent on sql server and redis and i'm uh, next portion is starting for the sql server how to add it in our docker environment okay bye bye